Well, it's a story you may have seen on 60 Minutes this past Sunday with a connection here at home. A Central Ohio woman spent the last 31 years discovering who she is. She was adopted through an agency in the Catholic Church. Mary B. Rolato's birth mother gave her up for adoption in Italy. As TNTV's Tara Jabor shows us, one simple connection revealed a life once taken from her. For most of us, a reflection is an image or reminder of who we are. But what if you don't know the answer to those questions? I was always just curious. I didn't long for a family because my family life was bad at all. I just longed to know more about myself. Who am I? Mary B was given up for adoption as a toddler with her brother. Her mother, Anna Maria, couldn't take care of her. Because she didn't have a a piece of bread to give us. That's what she said. I didn't even have a piece of bread to give you. Mary B's adoptive parents went to church in hopes of repairing their marriage. She says they were on the brink of divorce. If you have children, it'll save your marriage, you know, and we can get you children, Italian children from Italy. Mary B says she doesn't regret her life in Ohio, surrounded by loving parents, friends, and a great school. But she wanted to know more. Blood is thicker than water. You know, you can't escape, you know, a blood connection. When she turned 18, her father gave her information about her adoption. That led her on a journey to Italy in 1992 after connecting with one of her sisters. But I needed more. I wanted to know who the birth mother was. I wanted to find out if we had other siblings. Together, her and her sister found their other siblings, her birth mother, Anna Maria, and her birth father, Andrea. And one day, her history revealed itself. It's kind of crazy because it's, it's like, this is really happening, it's so surreal. And I don't know who these people are, you know? We met all of them that day. Her birth mother, Anna Maria, is like a reflection of herself. But looking at her, it's like you finally belong. You know, it's like, wow, this is, this is really her. A familia. A la familia. A la familia. Being adopted into America, it was more than the ocean that separated Mary B from her family and culture. Keep me in Italy. I lost my language. I lost my culture. I lost the inability to have an in-depth conversation with my siblings. Mary B has spent the last 30 years going back and forth to Italy, reconnecting and building a relationship with her birth family. Just this summer, she started calling Anna Maria a different name. And today I can actually for the first time call her mom. Now, when it comes to the Catholic Church, Mary feels the church pressured her parents to adopt. We reached out to the Diocese of Steubenville, where Mary was adopted. A spokesperson told me that they're unable to comment and that the priest that was mentioned passed away in 2010. Reporting live in the studio, Tara Jabor, 10TV News.